Alrighty everybody, what's up? Thank you very much for tuning in. Here we go with another Warfront video with patch 8.1 being released. We now have more Warfront action and more Warfront content. So for those of you that haven't seen already, I have released, I did release three. I just deleted one because the video really is out. It's not outdated. It just doesn't make sense anymore with what they've changed and I kind of going to be doing it in this video. Um, so, the three videos I had released, two of them are still alive. Those two are Warfronts, How to Unlock Battle for Stormguard, World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth. That's the title. I'm giving you guys the titles. If you want to search it in YouTube or just go to my World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth playlist, go ahead and do so. But the first one was the Warfronts, How to Unlock Battle for Stormguard. It's the little quest line. It's a little bit of a nine minute like little quest sign of me giving you guys an introductory on what Warfronts are. Uh, we got 504 views on that, so thank you very much for viewing. And then um, the other video that is still alive on my channel is Warfronts, the complete guide for the Battle for Stormguard, World of Warcraft, the Battle for Azeroth. So we actually do the Battle for Stormguard scenario. Now, I will be doing the new patch 8.1 scenario in Darkshore. Um, so stay tuned for that. It is just not active at the moment. So I'm going to be doing the Darkshore questing video and giving you guys an idea on how that works because that is the third video that i used to have and it was for battle for stormguard which was the questing side of things and that was uh it's been changed on how it works all right so, so now that we have the warfront table currently open it shows us uh battle for stormguard as well as battle for darkshore now i'm going to quickly go over this however in the video what I was talking about earlier, how to unlock Stormguard, I kind of go over how the, the daily situation works and how to contribute. So for example, um, for Battle for Stormguard, uh, the Horde is contributing to the war effort in Arathi Highlands, so we gotta do our part. Now, while we are in contribution mode, the enemy faction is in patrol mode. So what that means is patrol mode is what I'm currently going to be showing you guys in Battle for Darkshore today in this video and that's the main purpose of this video so that's why I'm going to kind of rush through this as quickly as possible just to give you guys an idea on what's going on. So Battle for Stormguard, or a Horde at the moment, we're in contribute mode. Like I said earlier in the how to unlock video I talk about the dailies and the different dailies that you can do. We basically got to... Uh, Donate resources, our own resources like gold, war resources, uh, profession, regents, and all that stuff to these dailies that are in this little area as you can see on my mini map. And um, once we do those dailies, we basically go towards this percentage. And when this percentage hits 100%, we will then have access to take down the battle for Stormguard. So it's basically once you're in, like, let's say we're in contribution mode, alliance is in patrol mode. Once we've hit 100%, Alliance gets kicked out, and then we get to take on the battle for a week. Once we've taken on the battle for the week, the whole thing starts all over, and then we get patrol mode, and the Alliance get contribution mode, and then the Alliance get access to it, we get kicked out. So it's basically a, a tug of war type of thing there. So, the Battle for Dark Show, which is what we're going on in this video right now, the Horde holds Bashal Aran and controls Darkshore, so several scouts, reports, and alliance contributing to their own war efforts of the Darkshore, so that's pretty much what's going on here. And that's what this whole video is about. I'm going to be showing you guys how the questing works for Warfronts now. I will be doing another video for Stormguard, um, utilizing most of this footage, but then just showing you guys the different types of things that you can see uh, for Stormguard. Um, so I'll be doing another video, but a lot of the same footage is going to be used, uh, so stay tuned for that if you guys want to watch it. So while we're in patrol mode, like I kind of said earlier, we have access to quests in Darkshore at this moment in time. So we can go ahead and do all the cool quest stuff because we control it. And we got time left of 5 days and 8 hours. While we are in patrol mode, the Alliance are in contribution mode. So the Alliance are in contribution mode until they hit 100%, which I believe they've already done. And once they hit 100%, they have access to then queue up for the Battle for Darkshore go ahead and have fun, do the scenario, do all the cool things that we don't get to do yet, which the Alliance get to do first, and then after their week of having fun, then we get to contribute to the Battle for Darkshore, and then we get to go ahead and do the Battle for Darkshore. But I'm not going to go on all day about that. I hope you guys understand it. We're now going to go ahead and 
head on over to Dark Shore. All right, so questing in the Battle for Dark Shore, uh, basically zone or the Dark Shore zone. Um, it's a little bit different, uh, which is why I deleted my Battle for Stormguard quest video. Uh, we basically, once you were in patrol mode, which I was talking to you guys about earlier, when you have access to the zone and all of its quests, you had weekly quests that were based off of um, an NPC that was where your war fronts were kind of at. So like if I went to Zandalar, Zuldazar, and then I went to Tazar Alor at the pier where you do your war fronts for Horde, you would, when you were in patrol mode, there was an NPC next to the portal that gave you like 8-ish quests. And with those 8-ish quests would give you uh, rewards such as war resources, 370 item level loot, gold, more war resources, and a bunch of junk that we just didn't need. Now, they've changed how questing works when you're in patrol mode. When you're in patrol mode, just go straight to the freaking zone, get straight to the point, and you will be given world quests. More world quests, damn. Fam, this is how it should have been in the beginning. So, as you can see, we've got the normal world quests, which uh, give you uh, things like Honorbound Commendation, uh, which is basically just go slay some Naga in a specific location, uh, which is going to give you also an Honorbound Service Medal, which is another way to get Honorbound Service Medals. Um, you also got the, uh, the Minor Blues, which uh, basically go get something slain, you get AP, and another service medal, another minor blue is to slay something else, service medal and more AP. You get the, the rare blues, which is slain, uh, reputation, service medal, up here, I missed this one, a regular, you get war resources, service medal by just killing a bunch of things. And of course, the one that we all love is the actual brand new world boss, Ivas the Forest Lord slain, which drops some epic loot that we all need so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and do some of these quests for this video and uh that's basically it this is how questing works for warfronts now so once you're in patrol mode just go ahead and open the zone you can open it from wherever you are you can be in uh zandalar culturas broken isles north right maybe anywhere you are in the goddamn world just make sure you go to calendar make sure you go to dark shore and it'll show you when you're in patrol mode all the world quests that you have active that you can do and uh for example um they reset all the time they're continuously resetting while you are in patrol mode um the the boss is always active and you can kill it once while you're in patrol mode while the other ones have timers and uh they're on six hour timers as you can see here and then in another six hours there'll be another set of world quests that appear so let's get some of these done
Production.com Production.com And as you can see, I've completed all the world quests that are that were available for me at this moment in time. Just like Battle for Stormguard, there's tons of rare spawns, there's tons of treasure chests to basically go out there and uh, basically look for and search for. Uh, when you carry rare spawns, when you uh, find treasure chests, uh, when you do these little like world quests, you sometimes get like cool items for them, such as mounts, uh, especially from like the world boss. Uh, you can get mounts, um, you can get uh, companion pets, which is kind of what I got, which you saw in one of the world quests. Um, and you get toys, so just like Battle for Stormguard, there's tons of stuff to go out there and adventure and uh, to make sure you complete. And if you are kind of like me and you don't want to do that, then just wait for the world quest to spawn because almost all the rare spawns have a world quest associated with them. So you'll eventually do all of them and hopefully get the item that you want. But there's also three weekly quests that you can get while you are doing uh, your little patrol sin sequence or scenario as well so let's go ahead and pick those up while we are here uh, as you can see we got remaining threats we've also got over here uh, buzzkill and last but not the least we've also got what do you seek? tap into breach and these are kind of patrol quests that you also get while you are in patrol mode at your main quest hub which is for the horde uh, at this little area by Shal Aran uh, so without further ado let's get these quests completed My last one. This thing? Uh, there's another buzz box over there. I don't know what these buzz boxes do, but right, yeah, I'll get rid of them. Alright, so, I have no clue what these were all about, but buzz boxes. Officially destroyed. Now we've got rare spawn oh, shield crap, not the that... same anymore. But I love, I'm not gonna stop playing this game. I, it's, it's, this game's always fun. But I just play casual now, for like twice a week. If that. I just make sure I get my weekly stuff done and when I have free time to go accomplish some more stuff. Oh, transmog, y'all know it's up. Ah, oh, yeah, that's how I was told. Oh, fuck. Oh, hey, no, 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 no. That is sick. I always, I keep forgetting about this, the soul shard cost. It's so much different. There could be a cave. I uh, will go look, but I don't. There could be. But there's, I thought they, I thought the war supply crates dropped from planes. I thought a plane drops it. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, it's a spell staff. Oh, it's another transmog. Oh, cool. I hit him. I hit him, boys. Last second. That's like the worst place to die. Oh, it almost was. 
Dude, these rare spawns are dumb. They oh, finally, with the three My weeklies completed, we get 300 artifact power on one. We get. What do we get off this one? Please give me something decent. 200 war resources, not bad. And last but not least, more 200 war resources, which wasn't the end of the world. It wasn't bad. But that's how questing now works when you're in patrol mode. You get a weekly set of quests, which were three that we currently just did. You also get the opportunity to do world quests that are on a timer throughout the week that you're in patrol mode. And that's pretty much it. So, thank you all very much for tuning in. Peace. Uh, we're